Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me again, Nikki Best. That's Mac my Afre. I want you all to really listen to what I have to say. This is dealing with second feminine. Okay, second feminine, written by the one and only Malachi Z York, Pamazel, Baba, my dad. Okay, now guys, give me a minute. This is gonna be for the ladies. Now, if you really want to hear what I have to say, listen up. Sacred Feminine states, women, that we have to be clean at all times. Not sometimes, not once a week, not once a year. At all times. Women, I have actually have seen with my own two eyes here in Georgia and in New York as well. It is the most nastiest thing I've ever had to see. That basically you women, you know, Nawapi women, black women, you know, Nubian women, whatever you want to call yourself, but you're still black and you're still African, you are completely are nasty when it comes to your house. Okay? Why am I have to walk in a pathway to get to another room, like your living room or your dining room, to sit down, you know, and talk to you, where you have nothing but trash and clean and dirty clothes mixed up, and they're pushed against the wall, in your own hallway, and you're not moving. And you're not throwing anything away. It's nasty. It's also nasty of actually going and, you know, seeing your entire room, on, you know, a children's room, a child's room, and their bed, there's like, there's no mattress on, you know, on the frame. There's no mattresses there. It's just a frame there. And you got clothes all over the place. It's not a storage facility. It's their bedroom. And then your own bedroom, basically, is a mess because you leave the door open. When I'm talking about a mess, you actually have to walk on top of piles and piles of clothes just to get to your own dresser, just to get to your own bed. And then on top of that, you push all that stuff down at the end of your bed so you can lay down to sleep. That's nasty. Don't do that. Okay? I'm pretty sure you heard about big bugs. Alright? That's nasty. You men who actually continue to be with someone like that, you're nasty yourselves. Because it's like pretty much you're actually are harboring you know, her behavior. That is nasty. You think that all women are clean? Uh-uh. I actually have seen those who actually were nasty. And I actually went to school with one who is still nasty to this day. Okay? It's disgusting. And stop it. Do not send your children to school wearing, you know, the same stained up pants and t-shirts that they go on to the, you know, to the school grounds with you know, and their hair has not even even been washed in over nine to ten months. It is nothing but crud. I mean, come on, this is healthy here. You can actually see, but something that looks like you can actually take this gunk, you know, this particular uh, trash out out of your own vacuum cleaner. That's what the children's hair looks like. That's nasty. Stop doing that. Okay. Stop doing that. Now, women. Those are for you that do work. That you work outside the house. Look, they got these big parachutes that car purses. Not the mini purses. The big parachutes. They even got, you know, you got a bag. You call it a purse, but it looks like a bowling bag. Alright? It's crazy. You want to use that and look all pretty and pristine? You know. Trust me, you're not London Dupree on, you know, Tough Love Season 2. You're not her. Alright? Don't do that. You got this big old bag. Okay, with all that junk that you put in there, put some toiletries in there. Get a Ziploc bag or another clear type of bag that has like a nice zipper on it, whatever you like, okay? Put your rag in there. Put your soap in there. Put your feminine products in there. Carry extra deodorant. Carry your bra and panties in there, okay? Now, if you're working, instead of yapping away on the phone in the bathroom, why don't you go into, you know, go in front of the sink, get your rag, get your soap, wrap it together, go into the stall, wipe underneath your arms, and wrap between your legs. Okay, your vagina must be clean too because, one, you're sitting down all day or you're moving around all day, all that sweat and bacteria, you'll be very surprised that, you know, if you don't clean yourself, and on top of that, Sick Feminine said that we women clean ourselves more than once a day. You'd be, very, you'd be very surprised of how much is actually on your candies, on your body. Okay? Now, what I do know for a fact is this. 
Now, I don't care what anyone else has to say and whatnot, but it's the way how you wash yourself is extremely important, ladies. You wipe from the front to the back. You do not wipe from the back to the front because all the bacteria and you know from your rectal area coat into your vagina, and then you end up you know having urinary tract infections, and then you know from urinary tract infections you have yeast infections, and then from that you have something else. You know you don't want to do that. You know so. Right from the front to the back. Keep yourselves clean. Number two. Second feminine also states that we are not loud, we are not boisterous, we are not rude, impolite, or disrespectful. Ladies, alright? Do not think that you're going to get some type of great respect if you don't carry that great respect for yourself. Okay? If you constantly call yourself a female dog, a hoe, a whore, a loose woman, or whatever, Okay? you giving other people to treat you like that as well. Okay? Do not ever come and say, you know, well, he was disrespecting me and so I told him off. No. Okay? You can tell somebody off without using language. Without being, you know, rude and impolite and disrespectful. Okay? And here, I'm going to quote the WWE again. Okay? And yes, this is coming from Jerry the King Lawler. And he did say that, uh, I'm going to paraphrase it, but I hope I get the right quote. He did say that, you know, it don't make no sense of getting in an argument with a stupid person, you know, because quite frankly, they bring you down to their level and they beat you with experience. Alright? So, end quote. Don't do that. If you know for a fact that basically a, what a person is actually saying, or what a woman is actually saying is really rude and disrespectful and whatnot, walk away. Tune her out. Don't feed into that energy. Okay? Because the more that you keep feeding her, you're like, okay, well, he's feeding me, so I'm going to go ahead and I have some more ammunition to fire him on or fire her with. Don't do that. Okay? It's not cute. It's nasty. And a lot of us women are being looked at by our, our men. Okay? Men. Alright? Not little boys. Real men. And those little boys... Yeah, don't worry. I'm going to get you to, but not on this video. Now, number three. You lose your, um, your, your divinity, you know, by allowing all these other guys, you know, you know, be inside of you. Basically, you know, you know, the second feminine did state that a woman should not have multiple partners. Pretty much. Do you like sex? Yeah. So do I. Yeah. So do everybody else. Okay, it's in our nature. Let me tell you something. The more multiple partners that you have, okay, the more, you know, your divinity starts, you know, to lead you. Because it goes with them. And if you ever see a woman, men, if you ever see a woman, a black woman, who is really upset, who is, you know, has like a mouth on her, you know, and oh, this, okay, swinging on the neck and stuff like that with an attitude, Okay? She's been hurt. Why? Because she allowed herself to be hurt. Pretty much. That is it. Okay? She goes to one relationship and it didn't pan out, but yet she has stuff with this person. She goes to another relationship. Didn't pan out. And then she goes to another relationship. Okay? And you wonder why she's so damn crazy. Ladies. Okay? When you have multiple partners, you leaving your divinity to them. Okay? You're just giving out a piece of yourself out to them. And in return, they leave you something too. And it's basically called craziness. Alright? Stupidity. And quite frankly, I'm giving you a prescription. A prescription is called Wuna Wupu. The prescription is written by Malachi Zior. Baba. Master teacher. Alright? You got it? Great. Let's move on. Next thing you also have to know. That basically, you know, it is crazy that you don't know that the mitochondria DNA is within you. Okay, so you basically carry down that light. You pass it down. Unfortunately, the man cannot pass it on, but he can still hold on to it. It cannot pass on from a dad to another child. No, because it goes from woman to woman to woman to woman to woman. Okay, that's how it goes. Alright? Now please, sisters, this is only a tidbit of the second feminine. Alright? Just a tidbit. Alright? They're not telling you your real true natural beauty. They're only telling you well, which is susceptible, who is beautiful. You know, you know, basically, it's a crock of crap. 
don't do that. Second Feminine also states that she don't overeat, she doesn't undereat. That's it. Like I said, read what's on your ingredients when you pick up certain things. Now, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what MSG is. Motosodium glutamate. Stay away from that. That's like a crystal is grinded up. Stay away from that. Anything that has aspartame in that is artificial sugar. And I should know because you know what aspartame has me get, you know, catching seizures when I'm asleep. And I have to have my own husband have to, you know, try to make sure that I will breathe, I will make it, and stuff like that. Alright? Stay away from those things. This is something that's before I even learned about it. It was just happening to me. Once I learned and then I actually start reading my ingredients, I stay away from that. Okay? Remember that. Number three. Potassium sorbate is pig sperm. You will actually see that in Country Crop and Smart Balance. If Smart Balance does not say organic, okay? If it doesn't say organic Smart Balance, that has potassium sorbate. Land Leaks has that. Now, I'm pretty sure that you can actually go to your organic food section inside of your supermarket and they actually have something that's called Earth Balance. Pick it up, okay? Omega-3 is basically fish. It's fish oil. That is it. They're putting all these Omega-3s into cheese, into yogurts, milk, butter, you know, stuff that. Because that is basically they try to crossbreed everything else. They put that inside of orange juice. Stick to the plain, you know, straightforward type of products. Do that. Read your ingredients. Second like feminine does say that we women know how to make a nutritious meal. Learn something, ladies. Not frying and doing the exact same thing that your mama had told you. Switch it up a bit. Okay? Stop buying pies from the frozen food section. You have the internet, so pretty much you are actually are looking at me and listening to me. You hear my words. Go to the places where basically says Google, YouTube, or Yahoo, Gmail, whatever. Okay, you got Facebook. Ask people. You know, took, take the time to actually look around. And find a way how to make your own foods from scratch. That is it. Okay, because they always said the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Well, guess what? If you can really throw down and you know it's healthy and nutritious great do that I'm not I'm talking to those who are the wappy women and knows exactly what I'm talking about okay but those who are not my Nubian sisters my black sisters okay you do not need to continuously eat collard greens there's kale there's turnips okay mustard greens try those okay you can still season it the same way I'm going to make another video just for the food, for the sisters, okay? But get this, I care, I'm hard to, to actually put this information out. So if it might seem hard and seem aggressive, it's because I'm tired of the same crap happening every single time, hurting us. You're hurting the nation. Not just the Noapia nation, the nation as a whole, your race as a whole. So I'm going to get back to you. So I'm going to make a little errand run. But remember, more videos coming back up to you. Hotel.